Okay, we think it's getting to be hummingbird season. But before hummingbird season, I always want everybody to get their jelly out. Because jelly can freeze. It can, yeah. He's going to get down. Oh, isn't this fancy? Yeah, this is pretty neat. You got it way up in the tree, and you can yeah. just take it right there. You know what? This is a great jelly feeder. Put your jelly in there. It can freeze. That's OK. Get it out early. When your birds come back, they're hungry. Oranges go on there when it's in season. And but. see, the other thing is, if this is hanging down low or something with this clear plastic top, why well, at least you can see the birds too. If you don't use our fancy hook like yeah. that, uh. you know what? I'm going to announce our hundred dollar winner quick before I forget, <clears throat> because we have a local person again, Sarah Mellon, and this is going to be fun, and she's going to be so excited because she's one of these rare people that came and pursued us. I said, "What are these tickets about? I want to buy one." So she wanted to buy one, she bought one, and she's a winner. Yay, Sarah, $100. Yeah. Yep. Every single week, this is our one of our favorite feeders right here because it's got a large mouth, it's easy to fill, and look how easy it is to clean. Just easy to clean, up. and the, using the same base, there's yep. two or three others that fit onto the same base. And, yep. You know, maybe a certain season or... You know, for a few weeks, you might have lots of hummingbirds. You want to fill a big one? Well, Diane, actually, if a customer bu oh, customer buys this one here and says, you know what, I wish I'd have bought a bigger one, just come in and we sell these empty ones like this without a base. Refill, yep. Yeah. Replacement, I guess they are. Yeah. I like the uh, solar lit one because then we get to enjoy it at night. And I think this one, well, it's not going to work because we've got bright lights. Neat. Probably not. It changes three different colors. Okay, so that's for us to test it. Okay, if you're using this, the stuff that you buy, that does have a little bit of a preservative in it, so it does last longer. But other than that, hummingbird feeder and oriole feed does not last much more than about five, five, five or six days before it's bad. And, yeah. and why would you want a coaster if you're using a turvis tumbler? Have you told them about a coaster yet? Well, you got it in your hand. Charles Vianson came out with some new products that we found down at market a few weeks ago. And they're really cute. And that was kind of our thinking. It's like we sell turvis tumblers, we sell insulated bottles, we sell insulated glasses. But some of you aren't using the insulated products. So you might want this butterfly and the sunflower, the two that we got in. Nice. That are, and I don't know why they couldn't be a lid. They can be a lid cover. They that, can be your lid that cover. that turvis tumbler right there. Oh, you got, I would, yeah. Yeah. So you can also cover your lid. Yep. Or cover your whatever glass you have. Um, I have a minute yet. I'm going to talk about the ant traps because we will get ants when you uh, put out nectar and jelly. Hey, and here's. We should talk about that first. Yeah. They need that before they need this. Uh, most of the hummingbird nests, and we, you know something we have, do we still have that hummingbird nest? Uh -huh. Usually they're made out of, you know, material like this, actually scraps of uh, yarn and different things, and they're just a real small, nice little nest. Anyway, if you've got some of that stuff, if you've got something to put it out in, why, this is okay. the time of the ant year to put it out. Ant traps are meant to put water in here, and your ant comes crawling down, can't get across the water, so it can't get down to your nectar or your jelly. Uh, a bird man from Minneapolis suggested you put a thin layer of Vaseline in here and hang it the opposite way. I waited until I had ants in everything and did this, and I loved it because you do it once a year instead of once a week. So it hangs like that, and the ants leave your feeder alone. I'm not sure why it works, but it does. And Roger's telling you we've got lots of different window window feeders. Oh, cup, uh, Boy, feeders. we're busting up Especially. stuff around here. Okay, and I have a All feeling right. this show we didn't say who we are and what we are and where Holy we're at. Crap. I'm Diane. I'm uh, <laughs> Roger. He's Roger that's throwing things around. We're at Backyard Station, downtown Crazy. Come on in and see us for all your bird things. And we'll have the plants again this year. Lots of plants. Lots of plants very soon. And I get them every other day. Backyard Station. Fresh. <laughs> Hand-picked. <laughs>